Hello, scrapbookers. This is Megan, and I am back today with a scrapbooking store layout. So this is the second layout that I created using this month's kit. Last week on Sunday, I did post the first layout using one of my dear friend Miranda's sketches from her new sketchbook. So if you want to check out that layout, um, just check the link below. I'll have it posted. So here you can see I have four photos and I wanted to make sure that each of them had their own mat so that they would each kind of stand out off of the layout. And so I am just going to mat each of them on this. It's kind of like a beigey yellow pattern paper. And then I'm going to add that green strip and then I'm also going to add in another red strip. So this is where I decide I want to do something different with these two strips. And so what I do is I just cut them into a bunch of pieces and I'm going to, I'm going to cut out a little triangle on each one of them. And the way that I do that is I fold it in half and then cut it at an angle. And that's the easiest way for me at least to create my own banner shapes without messing up. <laughs> So I am going to jump ahead a little bit and show you the finished version because this does take a few minutes. Okay, then once I finish gluing down all those pieces, I am going to start gluing down some of the extra cut off pieces, the, the banner part that I cut off. And I'm going to make a cluster down here in the bottom right hand corner and then up at the top right hand corner as well. And those are going to be two clusters out of like five. I, I have, um, let's see, one really big cluster, then one smaller one in the top right hand corner, and then one smaller one in the bottom. And then my title is going to be over by the photos. And then I have another one a little bit higher. So now I'm going to glue down all the photos and the papers and everything, which I thought I had already done, but I must not have. So we'll jump ahead a few. Okay. So now I am going to start pulling out the ephemera. So the ephemera pack that we got was from Jen Hadfield's home plus made collection. And then we also got some Heidi swap frames, I believe. So I'm going to use the frames and a couple of these ephemera pieces, that tree I'm going to put down there. And I was thinking about using a few of these floral pieces and leaf ephemera, but in the end, I'm just going to use that little one that I just glued down. And here is where I bring in this frame and I'm also going to glue down this little leaf up there. I'm trying to work in this frame. It has a plastic transparency on it that says, I think it says hello, beautiful or something or good morning or good day. I don't know, but I really didn't like it. So I decided to pull it off and it worked out awesome to just use just the frame. So I'm going to glue down using my Nouveau liquid glue. I'm just going to cut it off and then I'm going to glue it in another cluster area and I'm going to stamp the date on that one as well. So there you go. I cut it off and then I'm going to glue it and I make such a mess with this glue. I really don't like the Tombow or not Tombow. I really don't like the Nouveau glue. Like I don't understand if I just got a really bad jar of it or something, but it does not come out of the top. Number one, it never has from the get go. When I first opened it, it would not come out no matter what I did. And I, yeah, I poked a hole in the top and you know, I, I cut the, the tip off of it and yeah, I have to pull the whole like tip piece off of it and then just squeeze a ton of glue down and then use a paintbrush or something to push it around because yeah, otherwise it won't work at all. 
So now here I am just doing the date, which was May 28th, 2018. And then that is going to be it for this layout. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head on over to the scrapbooking store. I will have a link below so that you can get your own kit. Thanks for watching. Bye.